Sino ba ang number one? Who's the number one? Yeah. Who's the biggest gang? Who's the baddest gang in the barrio? Who's the baddest gang in the Philippines? Loved ones, what it do? It's Fatty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel right here, just hit the subscribe button real quick and give it a like if you think it's cool, if you think it's real. You know what I mean? Trip game right now. I'm over here taking it with one of the uh, OG of one of the biggest gang here in the Philippines, man. Temple Street. And uh, he, he got the homeboy got something to say, man. Fatty, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, this your boy Nuki Locote. From Temple Street, Pini Locos. So, so then your gang, one, three. What's up? What's up? What's up, the homies? Uh, Kapayapan sa lahat ng mga gangs. Respeto sa lahat. Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Nuki, right? Hell yeah, yeah. for sure. We're looking out for this, man. Uh, so, basically, we're just kicking it, man. We're trying to educate and let people know what's going on right now. Uh, like, can you tell us, um, like, from back in the days, what was the culture growing up? Like, how did you get into gangs? And what, what, what was your experience being from a Temple Street, one of the biggest gang here in the Philippines, man? I actually, like, I started, like, when I was really, really young, like, I, they didn't, like, they didn't recruit me. I volunteered myself, like, because I want to be in the gang. And um, I was already a gang affiliate. Affiliated when I was 11 years old, and then I became, uh, let's say, a full fledged Temple Street when I was uh, 30, 30 years old, 12 years old. That, w that was way back 1999. And then for me, like, because I want to be in the game because, uh, like, what I, you know, I don't have, I'm the eldest. Like, uh, let's say, for example, I'm looking for uh, camarades, like, we're looking for uh, a brotherhood. So that's why I decided to join a gang, then I got jumped way back in 1999, and then being in a gang, like, it's not easy, especially if you're, uh, if you're a nine-piece skied. Like, you have to do a mission, like, not like, these days, it's way different. Like, I, I, I remember, like, there's a, they say, for example, like, there's a old nigga, like, Matandana. yeah. It's often you can hear like somebody will tell you like, "Nung panahon namin, ano yan? Iba yung panahon namin sa panahon niyo. Iba kayo. That's our generation. And then as you know, I'm not that old, but I know what's going on. But I can I can say that the generation right now is way different than what we had before. You know what I mean? Like, cause if you're in a gang, you have to prove your number. At the same time, like. You have to make sure that you love the barrio, you, have, you love the gang. So, me, I'm not claiming that I'm OG, that I'm an OG, but everybody respect me, but I respect them a lot. Like, it, it always depends on how you're going to treat me. Kumbaga, sa Tagalog ba, kumbaga, mabait ako sa mabait, bastos sa bastos. So, right now, like, being in the gang is like it's been... So, so many experience like you have to be in a mission, you know what I mean? Kumbaga sa, sa LA may mga there, there's a, like there's a system in LA na well, what I can say is like we adapted it here in the Philippines. Especially my, my gang, my familia, Barrio Temple Street is from a Mexican gang, Filipino Mexican gang and it's from the States, Los Angeles. And then shout outs to Kapo Baby Boy. So Kapo Baby Boy is the one who brought the Temple Street here in the Philippines. And then the rest is history. And then um, what I can say right now is like, there's a big difference between local gangs and international gangs. But, let's say yung paninindigan at yung the pride itself is just the same. You guys are just in overseas, we're here in the Philippines, but we're still banging the same shit. But at the end of the day, for 
me or what happened. Some of us are dead. Some of us, they're doing their time. But at the end of the day, what's in it for us? Like, yeah. yeah. So, basic, uh, earlier you mentioned uh, in the beginning of the years from your gang affiliation through uh, Temple Street mm -hmm. and your biggest rival here in the Philippines is TBS. Mm -hmm. Those are the two biggest gangs here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier um, uh, you have to prove your number. Does that mean prove your number of the bodies that you have dropped in order for you to earn respect in the hood? Or well, it's it really depends on your perspective. Like, let's say for example, uh, you were you're a straight G, and then your standard is you're gonna be let's say you're gonna be a straight G for me if you kill somebody, and then some of them, some of us, let's say some of the veteranos will think it like you will be a you will prove your number to me if you did this mission. Oh, okay, okay. So, it really depends, like, what really, you know, what's going on before is, like, you have to do your mission. Because some, some of the international gangs, like, they thought that here in the Philippines is different. It's way different, but it's just the same. To me, like, as speaking, my majority of the locals... The, the local gangs here in the Philippines, like, some of them internationally think, thought that we're doing the gang shit here, but it's just like in a silly way, like, you know, the childish shit, like, well, you know, they, the way they do it. But way back in the 90s, the same shit that other homies doing it in the, in the States. Yeah, yeah. Same shit. Oh. People are losing their life yeah. because of the gang. Some of them, you know, doing their time. Some of them uh, lose their family. All, all those yeah. shit. But at the end of the day, who benefits it? Like nobody. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you'll be you'll be in a gang because that's your pride. Yeah. That's our pride. Yeah, I will be in a gang, Temple Street gang, for life. That's the way I live, but, you know, it's different now. You're a family, yeah. you know, you're a family guy now, you have to, you know, set your priorities and shit. Yeah. So it's, it's different. So, uh, from, from your experience, so you've been to, of course, uh, stabbings, shootings, gang wars, and whatever, whatnot, you know, all the things that comes with it. Mm -hmm. What year, what era, uh, what year was the most... Uh, active for you for your from your experience that you uh, witnessed is in the 90s early 2000s where most people had been dropped you know. on my uh, on my era because way back in the 90s I guess I was in the game when I was uh, like 12 years old 13 13 that was 99 years 1999 yeah, yeah. so as far as I remember way back 1999 is not that really, uh, you know, the gang bang, yung mga Hawaii, kabila, hindi ganun kalalim. Ah, okay, in the 90s. As far as I remember, yeah. parang the, the, the quote may on this, pero as far as I remember, here in Paranaque, yeah. like, 1999, there's some gang bang, you know, parang nagabawian, yeah. where you're from, tapos yeah. ibang set mo, yeah. and then I'm from Temple Street, kalaban, kalaban ka. Pero yung sabihin natin na talagang bakbaan, I never experienced it in the 90s, like 1999 onwards. Na ranasan ko siya 2006, wherein um, most of the gangs, like to early 2004, 2003, basta early 2000, yan, malate. Yun yung panahon na, let's say, same shit din sa, sa LA, like once you get out of your house, you're not sure kung makakabalik ka pa sa bahay mo. Pero, nandun tayo. Parang, you wanna, you wanna chill with your homies. Gusto mo masaya. Gusto mo lang chill. Adventure and shit. Nandun na. So, wala kami pakialam nun kung lalabas kami. Pero, we're always, you know, ready to get bang. So, yung era namin na nag-aaroon ng potokan, that was like, 2005, 2004, 
na experience namin ako oh, personally na pumunta sa lamay mga burol every other week imagine that parang every other week may mag uh, mag chat sa iyo or may text like, wala chat pa noon eh kasi na cellphone lang noon mga mga na lang eh you know, text, text text yeah text text gm ng tawagin uh, so may gm na nasasabihin nila na our homie died ito pinatay sila ng ganito ganyan doon mabubuo yung galit mo yeah yeah sa bilang yeah. grupo yeah hindi mo naiisipin kung sino sila ano ba sila ano bang ginawa nila basta the mere fact that they took our homie's life yeah it's a big note yeah kung mga parang uh, sasabihin natin na hindi lintik lang wala nang ganito yeah yun yung mindset ng mga Gs dati. Yun yung pinagdalaban namin. Na parang yang tayo eh. Sino bang number one? Who's the number one? Yeah. Who's the biggest gang? Who's the baddest gang in the barrio? Who's the baddest gang in the Philippines? Yun yung pinagdalaban namin. Never ending war. Never ending war. Yeah. So, I'm from Temple Street and they're from TBS. Nandun, dumating yung punta na hindi namin, nag-aaway kami, literal. Na parang pag na, eh, you know what I mean, like, if you saw some gangsters on the other street and then they're not with us, then they're enemies. That's how it is. So, mag-aaway, pagkakaroon ng gulo, ganun palagi. Tapos, me being in the gang, puro ganun, na parang hindi naman ako laging palaging bida sa kwento. Napapatakbo din tayo. Kumbaga, pag uh, lamang yung kalaban. Ah, when you get, when you get shot at. Exactly, yeah. like, they, like they, we are numbered. Like, yeah, yeah. there's only three of us and then there's like 20 of you guys. And there's no shame on that. I fucking ran too when I was getting blasted. Exactly. Man. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you're not know, fucking not gonna, trying to stay there and just, you know, get shot. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, you, have, yeah. you have to be wise, man, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, you have to be, you know. Yeah, me too, me too, man. So, this is what I did, like. Hindi ako yung what I used to like. I'm not always the hero of yeah, my yeah, story. Yeah. Like, Marami magsasabi na hindi naman ganyan nangyari, hindi ganyan ito nangyari, pero way back, para sa lahat ng mga legit 90s gang, you know what I'm saying, like, way back, if you're not from us, kung hindi ka namin kakampi, kalaban ka namin. That's how it is. If you're not with us, you're against us. Exactly. Basically, yeah. So, we, you the... don't know me, I don't know you, so what, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. That's the, that's the shit that we had before. Like, yeah. we saw you you, 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 you all dressed up, being a G, straight fucking G. You're banging your color. You're from red. You're from blue. We don't give a fuck. As long as you're an enemy, you're not from Temple Street. You're an enemy. That's how it is. And then years gone by, maraming namatay, uh, maraming uh, yun yah, patantamin ng Maraming beses na na-drive by kami. Kasi, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na ikaw yung pinakamatapang na ginulipi ko lahat, lahat dyan, wala sa akin, tao sa akin. There's always a story na hindi na nakikita. Like, uh, napatakbo ka rin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You surrendered or you, you parang, uh, you're numbered. They you got no choice but, you know, save your fucking life. You know what I mean? So, that's what we had before. And then all of a sudden, I realized, like, what, what the fuck is going on? Like, para san ba yung pinaglalaban namin? Like, uh, I'm from TST, they're from TBS. That's the fact. We're a different entity, but what are we fighting for? Is it, is that for being number one, or being the baddest gang, or the being the biggest gang in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Now, for those people who don't know what's going on with between those two gangs, TST and TBS, we have a big, a long ass history here in the Philippines. For those who knows the shit. But right now, then like what I mentioned, 
Like, like what I mentioned to you before, like we uh, had a chance to talk with the other OGs from TBS, and it just so happened that we have the same, um, let's say, perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the same mindset, like the same mission. Yeah. Because yeah. before, like what I mentioned, like we got the, uh, I'm always questioning myself, like. What's in it for me? Okay, I'm a, I'm a temple street. I'm down for my body. They took my homie life. Like, okay. Ganun eh. Yeah. Yung mamatay. Pabawian namin sila may mamatay. And then, then what? For me like, and then what? I'll improve myself. You prove yourself. And then what? And there is another homie shot dead because of nothing because he's just a member of a gang you know what I mean like you have to pay you have to pay for something that you don't even you know you don't you don't deserve it pero ganun yun ang iyari before yeah. and then I realized na parang sana hindi dapat lagi lagong ganun kasi tumatanda tayo parang sinasabi ko na parang Ang hirap ng plan ito, may anak ako nila. I, do, I have a son, he's my oldest, he's uh, 15 years old, turning 16, and I'm a gang member. Now, imagine the life that you still, let's say for example, ganun pa rin yung era natin, like, maingay pa rin yung gangs, mag-aaway, tapos, yun na. You know what I mean? Like, if they know that my son, that's my son, and then, sunod ang bumawi, Yun yung mangyari. Bawian lang. Mama, may mamamatay ng walang dahilan. Damn. So, basically, you kind of like evolve and see and so, uh, uh, start seeing things on a different level though, on a different perspective. And now, since you're not only thinking about yourself, you're thinking about the well-being of your son and you love your son, what's gonna happen to him? Like the people that hate you, mm -hmm. they might want to come back and, and get your son instead. You know? So, mm -hmm. Thank you.